Item number SCP-033 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures SCP-033 should be inscribed on any single sheet of irregularly shaped and handcrafted paper, papyrus, canvas, or vellum when not involved in active observation or study. The dimension of the paper like product should have no parallel borders, no right angles, no side length should be equal to any other O33 safe dimensions when contained in this manner. The paper like product should be secured in a locked non combination storage vault at least 30 meters from any computing or recording device. Logs for check out or check in of SCP 033 should be filled out at a minimum safe distance of 30 meters to avoid possible contamination of the paper product and electronic device the lock is kept in. When removed for study, SCP-033 can be copied to a white or chalkboard with O33 safe dimensions by Class D staff. Upon transfer to the white slash chalkboard, the people and product that had contained SCP-033 should be incinerated. Observation and study should take place in a secured conference room at least 30 meters from any computing or recording device for the maximum 2,560 second viewing window. All observations or notes should be made on O33 safe materials. Under no circumstances should any notes regarding SCP-033 leave the storage facility or be input into a computing or recording device. At precisely 2,000 seconds of viewing, research must stop and SCP-033 should be transferred to a new O33 safe people like product and returned to storage by Class D staff. The white slash chalkboard utilized in research must be incinerated as soon as possible after the transfer is complete, regardless of whether SCP-033 has faded naturally from its surface at 2,560 seconds. Whether O33 safe procedures halt or merely slow deteriorous effects of SCP-033 is unknown. It is theorized the irregular borders and handcrafting by mathematically unpredictable humans somehow disrupt the logic which allows SCP-033 to function. Description SCP-033 appears as a field of complex mathematical symbols ranging from simple layman identifiable representations to those only interpretable by highly trained mathematicians. The sum of the symbols is equal to a previously unknown integer, designated theta prime by Professor Hutchinson, of intermediate value between beep and beep. As all modern mathematical calculations are performed, lacking the knowledge or use of SCP-033, its introduction into any system organized without it begins eroding the numerical and eventual structural integrity of said system. This effect extends to SCP-033's transfer to any people like defined as paper, vellum, papyrus, canvas. Service not possessing O33 safe dimensions or any computing or recording device it is input into. If inscribed on any other material, SCP-033 fades into unintelligibility in precisely 2560 seconds. In addition, SCP-033 has shown an ability to leap from an O33 safe material to a manufactured electronic material which it can destabilize in at least one instance. Instant Report O33D requiring the institution of a 30 meter safe distance for electronic devices and people like products without O33 safe dimensions. There is currently no O33 safe specification for electronic storage. Beep of the Beep operational research projects involving SCP-033 are dedicated to finding such a method for electronic storage. Beep operational research projects are dedicated to the application of SCP-033 as a neutralizing factor for potentially hostile machine logic-based SCP objects. 
clarifying commentary from Professor Hutchinson follows for non-specialist staff in document O thirty three A. Effects may be reviewed in document O thirty three Q. Document O thirty three A. Debriefing of Professor Hutchinson after first observation. Transcript edited for clarity. Every school child notes that two plus two is four. The solid mathematical certainty of numerical order and value is the basis for all logic-based systems. We know that after two comes three, and after three comes four. What this formula proves is that we missed a number somewhere. Imagine if all our technology was based on the belief that after four came six, we simply didn't know or conceive of five. That is, in essence, what this formula proves: we missed a number. I can't tell you why the handcrafted vellum works best. I can only surmise that it displaces mathematical predictability in two ways: one, the irregularity of the crafting process due to human error serves to eliminate any traces of regularity that would be found in machine-created product. Two, the irregular borders seem to confuse it somehow, as if it gets locked up looking for a pattern to identify. An ascent escape hatch. I'll tell you this though, I don't think it should be left on anything longer than a few days. We'll find a pan eventually. I don't think it destroys anything. I think it tries integrating itself into our system, and our system can't hold it. It's like trying to cram another book into a full bookshelf. If you try a hammer, you can get it in there, but the whole shelf bursts eventually. If it gets out into the internet, we'll potentially experience a full IT infrastructure collapse within hours. Document O thirty three Q test results trial O thirty three Delta five SCP O thirty three inscribed into a single sheet of standard eight point five by eleven inch manufactured white copy paper. Hereafter X one a second sheet of identical paper. Hereafter, X two placed thirty centimeters away. Eighty seconds. Symbols consistent with the content of SCP O thirty three begin appearing on X two. X one unchanged. One hundred sixty seconds. All content of SCP O thirty three's formula appear on the surface of X two. X one unchanged. Three hundred twenty seconds. X one X two both appear wet. Symbols still visible. Six hundred forty seconds. X one is now roughly one part water and five part pulp-like substance, still filling an eight point five by eleven inch flat plane. Symbols become unintelligible. X two still appears wet. Symbols visible. One thousand two hundred eighty seconds. X one no longer visible at all. Liquid part appears to have evaporated. Pulp-like substance apparently sublimated. X two now roughly one part liquid and five parts pulp-like substance, still filling an eight point five by eleven flat plane. Symbols unintelligible. Two thousand five hundred sixty seconds. X two no longer visible at all. Liquid part appears to have evaporated. Pulp-like substance apparently sublimated.